What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. So I have got another try not to laugh with these news bloopers. This is news bloop best news bloopers of November 2022. Let's check this out. Let's send it out to business presenter Hannah Miller reporting from Gloucester. Good morning from Gloucester, where we're going to be hearing more about the impact on the NHS and schools. For the 12-hour forecast in Providence, here's meteorologist Christina Earn. Today's much the same as we hit those middle 60s. Hi, Mario. <laughs> Would you like to do the weather for me this morning? I'm very glad Holly took that shot. No, it's... <laughs> I forgot. Feel free. Let's turn to anchors Chris Epp and Kathy Lee for the evening headlines in Calgary. Good evening and thank you for joining us. It was a terrifying situation across Sion Mills earlier today. The holidays are back at Starbucks. Anchors Elise Martinez and Attica Abbott have the details. What I'm kind of interested in is the chocolate pistachio swirl. Ooh, so I think wow. when we make our coffee run tomorrow, that's what... Well, I want that in a drink, though. <laughs> I bet they, they I thought I was talking about a drink. But I bet it's you a pasty, make it into a, a drink. A pasty. A pastry. <laughs> I hope it's not a oh, pasty. Goodness <laughs> gracious, <laughs> Well, either way. For the extended forecast in Rochester, here's meteorologist Scott Hetzko. The uh, seven day, as we go down the road, I had a nice mullet in 86, thinking back, actually. Teenage, teenage yeah. mullet. Yes, you can have a nice mullet, by the way. Follow up, I know it's coming. Anyway, the seven day turns colder. And that happened right now. Whoa. Hi. There he goes. <laughs> That's going to be clipped for Twitter. Camera one, always looking for attention. <laughs> I was searching for the mullet. <laughs> Not there anymore. Uh, Back wait. to you, camera three. <laughs> this just in, anchor Tom Durian has breaking news on the election in Wisconsin. Good morning here. Tom Durian of the TMJ4 Newsroom. Uh, sorry, wasn't ready to go there. An update on uh, the election that we are following. Uh, Senator Ron Johnson has released a statement. Developing now, reporter Nicholas Crum is in Santiago with the latest on a house burglary. Es un sector bastante tranquilo, un barrio muy residencial, pero que lamentablemente en el último tiempo se ha ido notando cómo ha estado eh, aumentando lamentablemente esta situación de los robos. Evidentemente la sensación con la que está generándose este tipo de, de cosas acá oh gosh, ha complicado un poco on... la seguridad del sector y también de lo que hoy en día se puede considerar. Eh, sí, y evidentemente hay una situación complicada que tiene que ver con eh, lo que ocurre acá en, el, en la comuna de La Reina, que poder obviamente tener algunas medidas o contrarrestar lo que vaya sucediendo con eh, alguna situación de, de carácter delictual. Hay obviamente la sensación de inseguridad de los vecinos y por lo mismo también eh, hoy día estuvimos conversando con ellos y vamos a escuchar la declaración de los propios vecinos. ¿Se robó mi audífono? El... Sí, se robó mi audífono el loro, por eso te digo. For the Thanksgiving That's Eve funny. forecast in New York, here's meteorologist Mike Rizzo. To waking up with us here on News 12 The Bronx, for Local Matters, I'm Anthony Carlo. And I'm Aisha McKenzie. It is Thanksgiving Eve, and I'm so excited to eat, Anthony, oh, some low vibrational I, plates. I hear you. I still oh. don't know what that means, but it's okay. <laughs> I'll show you I'll show you it on TikTok, okay. you can say. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Mike Rizzo. What I'm is trying it? to eat. No. Mike, what is, is a weather What, are these what is a vibrational plate? Thank you. What's a low vibrational plate? <laughs> Racial we can't, we can't keep you guys cool. Yeah, no else said if you know, you know. I think I have a feeling what it is, but I ought to do some research after. <laughs> I don't think it needs much research. Why I remember that like, meme. Like, are we going to have low vibrational weather? Like, what is that no, mean? no, no, we need good weather. We need, we need, we need, need high vibrational weather? Yes, <laughs> to get to the low vibrational plates. Uh, okay, <laughs> now that we confuse everybody watching. Sure. <laughs> Mike, what's the weather? My goodness. <laughs> All right, uh. Yeah, Today probably find the weather will be Instagram. high vibrational. 53 degrees. <laughs> Such a <an> Ellie. <laughs> She's clapping over here like, yes. Let's find out who won the grocery giveaway in the Twin Cities. Anchor Chris Eggert has the announcement. Should we get, talk about our grocery giveaway? Absolutely. Do you live in 
in New Richmond, Wisconsin. Listen up, because you may have just won a $250 grocery gift card from Five Eyewitness News, if I, you do. I know the name, the name of the show is Minnesota Live, but we love everyone across the border, too, just for the record. So congratulations this morning to Rhonda. Rhonda uh, Suck It. Didn't, didn't catch that one in the pre-read. Uh, so Rhonda won a $250 gift card in our grocery giveaway. Uh, we've had more than 40,000 entries for this contest since it started a couple of weeks ago, and there is one more chance for you to win. Uh, Rhonda, if you're out there, let me know how you properly say your last name, because I, I feel kind of bad about it. It, it wasn't in when I read the scripts. So there it is, Rhonda. And uh, yeah, again, let us know the proper way to say your last name. It right. doesn't matter. She's a viewer. That's what we care about. Absolutely. And she just got 250 bucks for watching. I feel bad so, for very, nice. very likely saying her name the wrong way. You make a mistake? Mm -hmm. It's like weather people never making mistakes. Not you. Not me. Uh, this isn't a mistake. For a live look at rugby legend Kevin Sinfield's marathon run, here's newsreaders Charlie State and Rachel Burden. So uh, one of the stories we're following for you this morning, 8.13 uh, on Saturday morning, is Kevin Sinfield. Now, we have a camera on board a bike, uh, which is following. It's the first time we've done this. So we've set him off every morning, and we wave goodbye, and then we don't really know how it works, apart from the fact that he is achieving a... <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> that was brilliant timing. Well done, Charlie. I, I give you full credit for that. Now we know how it works. Okay, so just, so let's do a little bit of a countdown. We've had a few countdowns this point to when it's okay to go back. In the meantime, let, let me just read this message. Well, Kev um, gives himself a little bit of relief. Uh, this is a message from Mark who says this. Uh, the coverage uh, of Kevin and his team and the MND Association has been nothing short of phenomenal. Yet again, the daily reports have been superbly put together. What a legend Kevin Sinfield is. Body may be suffering, uh, but he gets stronger every day in the head and the heart. OK, I mean, I'll do the... Uh, uh, let, let's, uh, can I talk to my director? Are, are, we clear, are we clear to go back to... Yeah, we're, we're not OK. No, we're not. in peace. We'll go back to him later. Ah, it's fine. Ah, there we go. We'll take a lot of fluid on board uh, for running in conditions like that. Uh, Helen, how's things? How's things with you? Now to sports with anchor Dean you Blevins. You look very uncomfortable. In basketball, the Thunder with an early start, looking for a fifth straight win in Madison Square Garden facing the Knicks. They kept the scoreboard guy busy looking at... This from uh, Obi Toppin in the first, down 48-36 after one. But OKC closes the gap. Josh Giddy's runner makes it a five-point game in the second. And then just two minutes later, SGA, the gorgeous step back, ties the game at 61. OKC shoots 63%, 17 of 31 behind the arc. And triple-double for the Aussie. Giddy with 24 points, 10 and 12. Has the putback. SGA finishes with 37. Thunder win with the most points scored in the NBA this season, 145 to 135. And as always, Thunder reporter Steve Mc... Thunder Mc reporter Steve McGee was on the scene at the Garden and has more. That was weird. want to laugh so bad but I'm not okay some type of technical difficulty what is happening this is awkward Um, 
This is going on a little bit too long. Coach Stoops here at Louie's Grillin' Bar for right Rock on and time. Roll Tequila. Swing by. Oh my gosh. All righty. Mm -mm -mm. Well, there you guys have it. I almost broke when the guy was pronouncing that lady's name wrong. I didn't expect that, but I made it. I made it. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this compilation. If you enjoyed my reaction, let me know as well. If you made it, let me know. And if you lost, let me know where. If you haven't done so, subscribe to my channel. Hit like, share, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified whenever I pop up on your feed. I'll see you guys later. Toodles!